you watching? That has nothing to do with what I was talking about. Yeah, it's got to do with it. Oh. Here's the actual footage of who uh, someone in the mall had their phone on. They ain't got actual footage of it. They should, unless it's been censored. The video would have you to believe that this was just a fight amongst the teens. I'm going to show you some footage. That and is a lot of police. Do you know where my metal string is? That was found. Uh, All right, you guys. Oof, forgot. <laughs> My sister-in-law sent me some some makeup for Christmas, and uh, I was just trying it out. I don't. <laughs> I'm not. I don't do well in makeup. I would love to. I just don't. You guys just watched me do my Indian pipe tincture. Indian pipe is a flower. It's kind of a rare flower that I happen to stumble upon in large troops of. Um, it is really beneficial for people with anxiety, specifically like panic attack anxieties. Um, Really severe anxiety uh, for people who have sleep problems especially insomnia and for people who have severe pain that other medications even prescription medications can't touch so it's not something to be taken likely likely no lightly or at least that's what I've been reading for you know quite some time I've never actually tried it so I made some tincture for myself and also for some family members who may need this as well um i'm not going to try it right now because it's like one o'clock in the afternoon and i've heard that just a little drop can knock you out um we'll see i've had to use things to help me sleep my whole life um so i may need more but i don't know i'm going to start with one drop i will turn the camera back on when i do decide to try this for the first time and i will give you a thorough review of what i think about using an indian pipe tincture and then you can do your own research and determine whether or not it's something that you may need it has made a lot more than i thought it was going to so we've got one two three six six bottles of Indian pipe tincture. Um, I will be selling some of these, but like I said, some of these are for myself and my loved ones who may need it. Um, I'll let you guys know when it's up for sale, if that's something that you might be interested in. I didn't get a chance to show you when I started my, I've got three, one large half gallon and two little peanut butter jelly jars. Um, of apple scrap vinegar. I wasn't aware when I started making these that you cannot use the homemade apple cider vinegar or apple scrap vinegar for canning unless you test its acidity because it's got to be at least 4.5 percent acidity in order to be safe for canning. So I'm going to order some acid testing kits, <laughs> pH testing kits. But I started these about two weeks ago, so they should be almost ready to strain, and then they'll sit for another two weeks without the apples in them until you get that vinegar smell. And it can be used for cooking and cleaning, just not canning. And then I started some fermented um, garlic honey. You can see those little bubbles in there. It's definitely fermenting. 
And these little guys, they have bubbles in them too. They're kind of fermenting as well. And then I had made some salves. So here is one. I had, I think, five jars. And I took them to Christmas with me. I kept this one for myself and, and people here. But I took the rest of Christmas with me and the family took them. And my sister has been giving me updates. She had this thing on her leg for a year. Um, kind of a rash that like turned into eczema, got really, really, really bad. Um, I can't remember exactly what type of eczema she said she ended up finding out what it was, but she had tried so many things on this patch of skin on her leg. It was horrible looking. I felt so bad when she showed it to me and nothing worked. She started putting that salve on, the goldenrod salve, and noticed results within just a few days and she's been sending me update photos you know several times a week because she puts it on every single day and I'm gonna be honest with you all this herbalism and and folk medicine even though I get really excited learning about it and I can't wait to go out and see if I can find these things and what I can make with it and all that stuff and even though I know that all of our modern day medicine originated from plants Deep down in my heart of hearts, I still kind of thought it was all like folklore, make believe, like fairy tale stuff. Like, never really believed in homeopathy or any of that stuff. Like, I was like, if you want something to work, you gotta go to the doctor, you gotta get a prescription. Nothing is gonna work unless, you know, my mind is changing. My mind is really changing because I'm seeing the results. And I've been taking my goldenrod tincture because my allergies have been really, really bad. There's been a lot of sickness going around. So I've been, you guys saw me try this and it was disgusting, but I've been putting it a full dropper in with my shot of fire cider. So this is full of all kinds of goodies that, you know, have antibacterial and immune boosting properties and stuff like that. So I put a full shot of this nasty goldenrod tincture in there and you cannot taste it, mostly because the fire cider is so <laughs> strong. <laughs> but I don't mind the like pickly flavor of the golden or of the uh, fire cider, so it, it it's a good thing. Um, and so I've been taking that whenever I wake up and feeling really uh, like my allergies are really really bothering me. And I'd say within 45 minutes to an hour, allergies are gone and I'm feeling better. So I'm starting definitely starting to believe in this stuff and get more and more into it. I'm even thinking about maybe taking classes and getting certified, even though I don't know that they have an actual certification in the state that I live in, but why not? Why not? Hey guys, so I told you that I would turn the camera on when I decided to try my Indian pipe tincture for the first time. And I, I fully intended on doing that. It just didn't, um, well, it, it didn't work out that way because I ended up needing it at a time where I wasn't in a place, frame of mind, to be recording. So I, I started taking this just a couple of days ago. Um, and at first I didn't think it was working, but it, I, I, I definitely think that it is because, okay, just to give you like a little rundown of what was going on, um, my anxiety had gotten really, really bad, um, really, really bad. And so I decided to give this a shot. And when I first started taking it, first of all, let me say this. I've been telling you about how powerful this stuff is and how one little drop can knock you out. Well, my tincture is very dilute. You can barely even tell that it's got any purple color to it. This should be so purple it's almost black. I didn't have enough flower or plant material in my alcohol to make it the way it's supposed to be made. I, when I finally decided I was gonna go and harvest some, there weren't as many flowers left as there had been. So the pickings were very small and I hadn't, I didn't know the ratio. So I just had a jar of alcohol with me and it was probably two or three flowers to a full jar of alcohol. That's not nearly enough should be two, two to three flowers chopped up 
and about this much alcohol. So <laughs> I did it wrong. So it's not as powerful. So I, I started using it the other day, the other morning, first thing in the morning. I woke up with intrusive, this is hard to say, but intrusive suicidal thoughts. And um, I didn't feel like I was going to make it through the day, to be honest with you. So I decided to give this a shot. And this is how much I took that first day. Just a little tiny bit. And then within two hours of being at work, I decided maybe that wasn't enough. So I went back and I took another dose about the same, about the same, maybe a little more. And shortly after that, I started noticing the panicky feeling that I was having, that intense anxiety was gone. It was just gone. Um, but it was weird because it's, it's not, I don't know how to, it's not like it was a, uh, I didn't feel all drugged up and I didn't feel panicky anymore. Um, it's like the stuff was still there in my mind, but it wasn't affecting me physically the way that it was prior to, to taking that. Obviously I was still having my issues. The anxiety was kind of coming from something outside, an outside factor, and I was still going through that. So the next morning, I got up and started feeling this stuff again. A lot of things going on I'm not going to bring up in this video, but you'll see it eventually. And um, so I took a, a little bit bigger of a dose because I got comfortable with the amount that I had taken the day previous. About two hours after that, I took another smaller dose because... I, I just felt like I needed it. And for the rest of that day, I felt stronger, bolder, and more confident. My mind seemed to be losing the battle. I did not take another dose later in the evening, and I definitely felt that anxiety and stuff picking back up again. So, this is not going to solve your problems. You're still going to have to work things out for yourself. But, I do believe this is a very useful tool. Because the way that my mind was before taking this, I would not have been able to uh, properly sort through my thoughts and my emotions and work through what was going on. This kind of allowed, kind of allowed the racing thoughts to slow down a little bit and it kind of separated me from what I was going through. It like took the almost not entirely but almost seem to take the, the emotion out of it so that I can think more clearly and level-headed about it if that makes any sense um, so I'm actually really surprised um, I was scared to try it at first I didn't want to take too much to make myself sick I didn't want to have a freak out moment and then never want to touch the stuff again I'm actually quite thankful that I made mine more dilute and then at least that way when I can go back out and harvest more and try this again and um, I can, you know, kind of get a feel for the right um, dosage, the right strength and dosage that I need. Uh, as far as using it for my sleep, I don't think this is strong enough. I have noticed that I've been able to fall asleep a little easier, but it does not make me sleepy and it doesn't knock me out like I've heard. And I, I think that's attributed to the fact that it's such a, uh, a watered down, it's not concentrated, it's very watered down. So I'm not getting very much of the medicinal properties out of it, but I'm getting enough, it seems, to help in times when I need it. So the next batch I make will be stronger and then I can test that and see how that works for 
my sleep because I feel like I would probably have to take quite a bit of this if I wanted it to help me with my sleep and it tastes a lot like alcohol because there was so little plant material in it it was more alcohol than plant material which is not how your tinctures are supposed to be made so I messed up on this one but it still works it's a less powerful medicine and I'm I'm so happy with it this is definitely going to be in my toolbox from now on for those times where I just can't control my thoughts and my anxiety is taking over and it feels like my, my mind is attacking me. Yep. Yep. It works. It helps. It helps. Like I said, to kind of separate you from the emotions so that you can process and work through the stuff. So I'm incredibly thankful and uh, I look forward to, to experiment, um, experimenting more. So I just wanted to hop on here give you guys that update, let you know how it's going in case it was something that you were interested in. And, um, I do have it listed up on my Ford shop. I'll try to get a link for that and put it in the description below if you're interested in maybe trying this for yourself. Or I've got other stuff up on there too. I've got all kinds of mushrooms up on there. I've got, um, I don't know what all I have on there. Just finished uploading everything. But anyway, all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video and sticking around and seeing you know, whether or not this stuff works. And I've got lots more um, content, you know, um, coming out that's kind of more focused on this herbalism stuff. And I'm really excited about it. And I hope you guys are too. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.